Hello everyone! I'm here today with a flip through video. If you've watched anything else on my channel you know that I did another flip through recently from my Florida trip that was all the non Harry Potter stuff at Universal Studios. This one is for all you Harry Potter fans because I had so many layouts that I had to separate the Harry Potter ones into their own album. So here is that album. I do have to warn you I keep everything in these clear bags until they go into an album and there's a little bit of glare because of that coming off of those but I think you'll still be able to see the pages pretty well. So here is the opening page for the Harry Potter section. Uh, I took my camera off the stand so that I could zoom in and pan out to give you full length views. So I'm going to zoom in here. This is just a tag. I got this from a peachy cheap deal a long time ago and it was like a set of 50 tags or something. And they all had glitter on them in some way and I loved them so I bought them and so I used some here you'll probably see more as we go and then this was a tag I actually had from a Harry Potter item that I bought it was the tag that came on it but I figured it was still appropriate to use here because the whole Harry Potter theme so there is the opening page these are stickers that are licensed and I want to say it's maybe reminisce that has the license um, this broom one is these three are from something else but this broom is from that set so if you're looking to get some Harry Potter items that's a great place to start so on this side I have just a one pager here so that's the night bus first my husband took a picture mine came later we didn't do it on the same day which is fine and then this is when you enter Diagon Alley and I have to say I cried I walked in and being the super fan that I am, it, it was real to me. Everything looked just like in the movies, how I had imagined it when I was reading the books. And I felt like I was home. And so I cried. And there's a gentleman who works right inside the entrance. I'm going to zoom in here during my story so you can see the stuff that I used here. Um, that's a die cut, laser cut. Uh, there was a gentleman standing there working right outside the leaky cauldron. And... I could tell he knew I was crying. He could see it. Didn't bat an eye. Didn't say a word. So I'm guessing it's not the first time that it's happened. All right. And then this, I had so many pictures from this trip in general, but especially from the Harry Potter area that I finally made the decision that I had to put some in collages because it would have taken me 20 more layouts even than what you see here to do them all. So this one was a collage and I just made a one pager out of it. And then this is from, part of it is outside the Leaky Cauldron, you can see the menu. And then when we stepped inside, very cool. If you've never been, I highly recommend it. And then this is a two-pager, you can see they go together like that, of the Leaky Cauldron. You can eat there just on your own, but we chose to buy a package where we stayed on site, and it was the Harry Potter package. We stayed on site. You get in the park an hour early every day, and then you get two meals at the different restaurants. So we did one here at the Leaky Cauldron. We did one at the Three Broomsticks. Then it was on to Ollivander's to get wands, right? You got to do that when you're in Harry Potter world. So all three of my kids got the interactive wands, which means that once you have them, they give you a map. And it shows you a bunch of spots around the parks where you can do spells. So that was pretty, pretty cool. And I think worth the money, especially if you're a big Harry Potter fan. So this is a page all about Quidditch, two page layout. These are different cards. I have this one was actually from a paper pack that I bought. Again, I think it's by Reminis. Um, this one actually came from a digital set and I just printed it. So there are many different types of things out there that you can buy digital and physical that are Harry Potter themed. So if you're looking to do an album of any kind that's about the wizarding world, you can you can find stuff that you need. So here's one where my kids were just doing some spells out and about in Diagon Alley. Sorry if you heard that. That was that was my washer signaling me that it's done. Here's another collage of just some miscellaneous buildings and things that we saw in Diagon Alley. 
Now we're off to Wiseacres Wizarding Equipment. And this is a stamp set. This little Luna here is from a stamp set by the Sweet Stamp Shop, I believe it's called. I think so. And it comes with some other characters in it. And you'll see some of those as we go. But I love that little Luna. And there's another card. That was a digital one as well. These are kind of hard to see, but they're actually wax seals. I bought those off Etsy. And I wish I could tell you the name of the store. And I don't remember at this moment. I'm sorry. If I can look it up in my order history and find it, I'll put a link there. Um, but you can get the Hogwarts crest and you can get the house icons. And I have two Ravenclaws in my family, so I definitely had to have that one. So this is an acrylic piece. There's This is from the same stamp set as the Luna. So there we have Hermione. And then I also had a bunch of flair that are Harry Potter themed that I got on Etsy as well. There's another one. Then we went off to Gringotts, the front of it anyway, to exchange money because you can go in there and change your muggle money for wizarding money. So it's a pretty cool process and the goblins actually talk to you, which is, which is pretty fun. This is outside of Gringotts Bank. There's the famous dragon that guards the bank and he really does breathe fire every, I think it's every 10 minutes or 15 minutes. He comes on and breathes fire. And it's real. You can feel it. It's hot. So if you're standing close to it, be prepared. All right. The next layout here is from Sugar Plum's Sweet Shop. So this would be the equivalent to Honey Dukes, but this is Sugar Plum's. And you can see all of the lovely treats that they have in there. Everything that's mentioned in the books and the movies. And then close to that is Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. We spent quite a bit of time in here and we had given our kids a limit. They each got the same limit of what they could spend and they could spend that any way they want. I tell you for all three of them, most of their money was spent in here. You guys can look at some of this funny stuff. Wouldn't you want to buy things in here? And these are actually buttons that I bought in the store when we were there and, or sorry, not buttons, pins. And so I just removed the pin back and I used glue dots around the edge to stick those on the page. So I had to get a little creative with what I bought and what I could use, but it works. And then that's the third pin that came in the set. So they all got used. And this is just some glitter paper. This is an acrylic piece. I believe it is from Color Cast Designs, if I'm not mistaken. And then on a lot of these pages, you'll see me use little phrases. Now, some of them, it's obvious that they were professionally printed and I bought them that way. But I also wanted some phrases that I couldn't find anywhere, so I made my own. I just put them in Word and printed them, and this is one of them. It's probably full of nargles. That's a line from the books and movies. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that. I know it's in the movie. I can't remember if it's in the books. But uh, it's from Luna. And here's another page as we kind of went around the park here. There's a thing you can do at a place called Shutter Buttons. And here it is. And it's it's a moving picture, they call it. Really, you get a DVD is what it is. But it makes it look as if it's the moving photos like in newspapers and picture frames in the movie. That's what you get. Um, so it's pretty cool. So what I did was I played it. They give you a link so you can get it digitally or a hard copy. So I just played it and then I took screenshots of it as it was playing. So that's how I got the photos. Well, this one I did take outside, but the rest of these are from the actual video. This is a laser cut that just says muggle. Another flare. That stamp is part of the same set as the others. That's Fox. So there we are in our video, which was really fun. You get to put on your house robes. They provide them for you. And then here we are doing more spells all around the park here. And then this is another one that I printed myself. 10 points to Ravenclaw because this child and this child are Ravenclaws. So I had to have something that said Ravenclaw and the blue worked and that's the house color. 
I and my husband and my other son are all Gryffindor. So you will see an equal balance, I think, of Ravenclaw things and Gryffindor things. And before I pass this page, this is a stamp from a set called Potterhead. It's by Kelly Perky. I think she's released it four times now. And every time she re-releases it, it sells out. So if you ever see it, that's where this comes from. You better buy it immediately because it will sell out. So here's a page as we were going into King's Cross, waiting to board the Hogwarts Express. Another pocket card. More flair. And there we are inside. This was a laser cut, and I bought this like two years in advance. <laughs> I saw it somewhere, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to get to the parks. I'm just going to hold on to it till I get there. And then we planned the trip a year ahead of time, still holding on to it. And then it finally got used after the trip. There's some more things here, little phrases. These, this is um, from a sticker pack that's a licensed Harry Potter pack. And then some of these were just from other digital things I had or that I made myself. There, that's a licensed sticker, I remember. This was a digital file. So again, if you're looking to do anything Harry Potter, there are plenty of things out there that you can find. So there's another laser cut that I bought. This was actually a full three by four card, but I cut off this part because I only wanted that. So there we are exploring the village of Hogsmeade. That's from the Potterhead set again. There we go. Let's get those lined up together. There. More flair. Deathly Hallow symbol. More pocket cards. Lots of pocket cards got used here. These are just some general photos around Hogsmeade. So many things to see. Like, I wouldn't picture happy. I'm making no secret of it. Owl post. I love the owls. So I had to give it its own page. There's another multi-layer laser cut thing that I bought. I bought it at some convention, I believe, and held that one as well. Then lots of pocket cards here. These are from the same set. This is a label that I made myself, Apparate. So this is Dervish and Bangs. Lots of different wizarding equipment and items sold there. Ah, Honey Dukes. This was another fabulous stop. Tons of different colors to see and photograph. If you're a sweets person, you'd love it. I'm not a huge candy person, actually, but I still enjoyed exploring everything because it just looks good. The presentation that they do at Universal is fantastic. So even if you don't go for the sweets, just go to look at everything. It's fantastic. This is the Hippogriff ride. This is technically a kitty ride. There's my Hagrid stamp. But we had to do it because we love Buckbeak. It's one of our favorite things from Prisoner of Azkaban, so we had to visit Buckbeak. And the animatronic they have of him, it is pretty cool. Now we're on to our first real view of Hogwarts. Again, I may have cried. May. Ahem. Took lots of pictures here and here, how I had Ravenclaw before. Now I have 10 points to Gryffindor. That is a laser cut of the sorting hat. Pretty awesome. More views of the castle. And then the girl working the front, when you go into the ride inside the castle, was a Slytherin. So I decided to make this side of the layout all about Slytherin. So I have Slytherin paper, and I have the house crest. There it is. But then this side, the colors were more suited to Gryffindor, and they had the Gryffindor Quidditch team here featured in one of the little videos inside there. So I thought, well then, you know what? Gryffindor is going to get some attention too. And there's the fat lady who is the, she's the portrait that opens the door into the Gryffindor common room. So that works as well. This was riding the Hogwarts Express back through the park. You can ride it both ways. And what you see while you're on the train is different, depending on the direction in which you're traveling. So if you go there, don't just go one direction. You have to do both. 
And then there's my turn at the night bus. Also one of my favorite things from Azkaban. Prisoner of Azkaban. Now here we are at the three broomsticks. Send me an owl. That's one that I printed myself. I love this card. On a scale of one to ten, my obsession is nine and three quarters. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and then I did this one myself. Seriously. This is epic. was a printed one that I had already. That wasn't my own. But seriously, I had to do. And then this is from a ride that's no longer there. This is the one they removed, and now they're putting in a new one. It's a good thing we went when we did. Um, but I had saved this laser cut as well because it was just so cool and perfect to represent Hogwarts. And then this was getting towards evening. We're back in Diagon Alley here. There's Creature. He actually peeks out the window every couple minutes. And there's another one of those tags that I mentioned at the beginning. And again, if you haven't been to Universal, when you go, make sure you do stay in the park long enough to see the lights come on because it's really cool when all the shops are lit up and King's Cross is lit up. It's really fun. So do try to plan an evening when you're there, at least for a little bit. And then more pictures from the outsides of some of the shops as they were lighting up for the evening. Ah, and then they do actually have Nocturne Alley, the bad part of, you know, the London Wizarding World. So again, um, I did a collage here. I had a lot of pictures from in there. It was very dark. Um, they don't keep it well lit on purpose. So I had to get a little creative and I decided to just do what I could with editing and then to do a collage. And then there's another night scene out and about in Diagon Alley. And as a side note, if you step into this booth, phone booth, and you dial the number for the Ministry of Magic, they pick up and they answer. So try it when you're there. Ah, Borgen and Burks, the naughty wizard store. These are where the Death Eaters shop. So it's all kinds of dark arts things that are in this shop. That is Bellatrix's knife that is featured in the movie that we see that kills Dobby. Sad face. And then this was one of my favorites, Madame Malkin's. Normally I'm not a real frou-frou person, but this store was to die for. They had all of this fancy wizarding stuff so fancy robes i wasn't sure if this was supposed to be an evening dress or a wedding dress i called it an evening dress in my journaling but i'm, I'm really not sure but who cares it's fantastic it's lit from within i assume there are led lights in there gorgeous so it's really fun to see everything and doesn't this look like something that dumbledore would wear i think he shopped there ah doing more spells this is what it looks like on the ground so that you know that you can stand there and do a spell and it shows you how to cast it. And if you do it right, something will happen. My boys were actually having a little trouble with this particular one, getting this umbrella to do something. They do have workers in the park that will help you. And so this young gentleman came over and gave them some, some wand instruction and then they were able to cast the spell. And there's some more of that. And I love this because it actually shows the motions that you're supposed to do for some of those spells, which is pretty cool. There's a Ravenclaw symbol again for my two Ravenclaws right there. And then this is inside the Gringotts ride. So before we were just exchanging money on the outside, then you can go inside and actually do the ride, which is really fun. It looks just like the movie set. There is one of the Weasleys who works at Gringotts. There's a stamp from that Potter headset again. And then we're just outside checking out for Flourish and Blots. And we did decide to go in. Here's another place where you could drop a lot of money. I really wanted this Marauder's Map, but they're kind of expensive. So I didn't do it. But I loved just walking around in here. So this is another one where even if you don't buy anything, just go check it out. 
it's fun just to experience it. And then this was just um, another time that we took the train and we were arriving in Hogsmeade. And look at this. We did actually get to catch a performance of the Frog Choir. And they're very good. Whoever they get to, to do these performances, they are fantastic singers. So that was very fun to watch. And then just some more random stuff around Hogsmeade there. And of course, having a pumpkin juice. You can also get butterbeer at this same stand. Right here behind this, you can't see it, but it's packed with both pumpkin juice and butterbeer. And butterbeer comes regular and frozen. So if you're there on a really hot day, get the frozen. And then one of our last photos, we stopped a stranger and asked them to take a photo of us with Hogwarts in the background. And I love it. That's probably my favorite photo from the entire trip. And then this is the closing page. No photos here. Just a card that came in a digital set. As is this one. I had a Marauder's Map sticker there. This is also a 3 by 4 card. I just tucked it underneath the black here. And then this lovely owl because it matched all the colors. So there you have it. That is my Harry Potter album from Florida. Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that. And I hope it inspires you to do some Harry Potter layouts as well.